Injective introduces the very first native stable coin called AUSD, backed by Menek and custodied by State Street. You know, just yesterday or the day before, I was talking about how like uh, BlackRock and Vanguard like owns everything. State Street is up there too. State Street is like State Street and Fidelity. They they're like part owners of everything too. So I don't know if it's a good idea to involve all these big Wall Street guys. They, they seem to like own everything, even though they're custodian at this point. But still, it seems like they own everything. Mutable says they received the Wells notice from the SEC, but according to them, it's a very vague notice. It doesn't really say what, but they think it could be involved with their sales of the IMX token, um, but they're not quite sure. But, you know, they could be settling, they could be not, I don't know. So it's kind of, kind of up in the air right now. Here's something else outside of Bitcoin. New York Stock Exchange. First of all, someone sent me an uh, article. New York Stock Exchange is trying to trade trading hours to 22 hours. 22. They're trying to copy crypto. 22 hour trading day, five days a week. So basically, you know, it's like around the clock, right? But second of all, they're looking to list Grayscale's crypto index ETF which includes Bitcoin, ETH, Sol, XRP, and AVAX. That would be interesting. It's like a bucket worth of crypto. Uh, that would be quite interesting. And that and, and it kind of gets, you know, it kind of uh, kicks off. This is what people have asked me before. Rather than individual ETFs, you have like a bucket. Because ETFs already have this, right? You have emerging markets, you have tech, you have oil, you have like gold, you have like basically all kinds, right? Um, of ETFs and why not for crypto? So this could be absolutely huge if it happens. So this could be huge. Also, of course, there are others that are trying to come up with the Solana ETF. I think this makes a whole lot of sense obviously but there's also possibility of xrp etf or a litecoin etf those are possibilities although no one wants them uh but possibility nevertheless guess what cardano is teaming up with nasa for a cardano supply chain POC does NASA even exist it seems like SpaceX does all the NASA stuff now I don't know what NASA does it's just all SpaceX stuff but Cardano is partnering up with NASA so that's good that is good I saw this the highest net inflows among all chains is SUI by a landslide, which is huge. Uh, but I did chart SUI recently, and I did say, hey, if you break, if it breaks out of this chart, it will come back, and it did. Transactions per second, even higher than Solana at this point. That's actually quite impressive, so good for our SUI. Solana ETF momentum still growing. I'm waiting for this. So far, Ethereum's ETF has been disappointing. It has not helped Ethereum. In fact, it has made Ethereum weaker. I think my theory behind that is Grayscale, once again, Grayscale, once they converted their Ethereum trust into a Ethereum ETF, they have been dumping a whole lot of Ethereum, just like they've been doing it with Bitcoin. But luckily, the other ETFs have been overcoming that. Um, but it's not going to be the same with Solana. Solana ETF is definitely going to take a lot of inflows. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't think BlackRock and others are, are planning on a Solana ETF just yet. But there are others that are planning for Ethereum or a Solana ETF. And I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully that comes sooner than later. And then you still have a lot of Solana whales. 
like this one that has withdrawn $36 million of soul from Binance and staked it in the past nine days. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Guess who's back? CZ <clears throat> makes his first appearance at Binance Blockchain Week in Dubai after being released from jail. And I see he's joined by, I think that's Aaron. I can't tell if that's Aaron or Austin from this far away, but on stage by either Aaron or Austin. He's back in Dubai. Back being free after serving jail for four months. <laughs> now he's, I mean, now, you know, I know that's embarrassing to go to jail for four months, but <clears throat> he still has all. He still has his like $70 billion worth of Bitcoin. He still is like a major, he's not CEO of Binance anymore, but he's still like chairman or even if he isn't, you know, everyone knows he's still running the show. He's still like the man there. And he doesn't have to worry about being arrested any anymore. He could come to the U.S. He doesn't have to be afraid. Yeah, like the Department of Justice or the Marshal Services are go is going to arrest him. He's, he's, he's in a really good spot now. <laughs> yeah. And people are still waiting for altcoin season, right? Altcoin season will it come. Well, right now, it just seems like Bitcoin dominance keeps on going up and up and up and up and up. At some point, my friends, it will come down just like before. Look at the last cycle. You see how altcoin dominance also kept going up and up and up and up and up and it hit about 70 something percent before it dropped, right? But again, look at it. When did it drop hard? It dropped at the tail end, right? That's usually when it happens. Actually, that point, yeah, it wasn't the exact tail end, but it was like the mid, midpoint, mid to late um, of 2021. That's usually when it happens. All coin season doesn't happen until the last year and usually the second to last half of the last year, right? That's why I tell you guys, stay strong, stay focused, right? Always have a good amount of Bitcoin. You could have all Bitcoin, that's fine. Sometimes I do wish I just had all Bitcoin, when, especially when the alts bleed out, right? But alts will get their day. Altcoin season always happens at the tail end. So stay strong, it's going to come.